Oh yeah, small mouth. That's a good one, buddy. Hey y'all, Justin McKay and Catfish. Hopefully you can see me right now. We're right here at first light. It's a little after 7 a.m. But my plan for fishing today is uh, kind of pull double duty out here. I need to try to catch some bait for my next catfishing trip. But I also want to do some ultralight fishing today. That's what I'm really coming out here for. So my plan is on the way to get where I'm going to do some ultralight fishing, I'm going to troll. I'm trolling some spoons right now behind the kayak. I'm moving about 2.8 miles an hour up here. So I'm hoping to maybe pick off some white bass or possibly even some skipjack if I get lucky. And I'm going to troll up here to get where I'm going. And then we'll get the jigs out, get the gulp minnows out, and just do some multi-species ultralight fishing, just fishing for whatever I can get into today. Do some fun fishing. That's what I've been kind of in the mood for here. So uh, we'll get up here and see how it goes. I'm going to keep this camera running, though, just in case I get lucky and stumble on a school of white bass or skipjack. And uh, if not, then I'll just look into keeping some of the fish I catch today while ultralight fishing. I'll definitely catch something. You always catch something when you're ultralight fishing, but I may end up just keeping some bluegill or possibly some crappie or bass or whatever I end up catching. So uh, we'll get up here, see what we can get into. I forgot that the camera's running here, y'all. Yeah, I got a little white bass on there. <laughs> so much for the commentary on that one. I was just off in a trance there, just a thinking. And forgot I need to talk to you all on here while I'm catching these little white bass. There's one. Let's cast this spoon back out there and we'll do it again. cast a spoon out you can't see of course the camera's facing forward but just a cast length basically stick it in the rod holder and you can see there i'm going 2.7 right now i'll pick up on this rod because it's either got a fish or a leaf the fish it's a small one yeah it's a fish on there you can see i'm running over this flat right now i'm in 13 feet looks like and i've gotten on a school of these right here so not the size of white bass i like to use i like them a little bigger than this but beggars can't be choosers i'll take what i can get they'll make a bait get that spoon back out there and see if we can get some more up through here no bigger than those white bass were i'm not gonna go back and circle around make more passes through here but we'll definitely hit it on the way back through i got to come right back through this area this afternoon or probably later this morning actually it's gonna be too dang hot to stay out here long today but i'll come right back over this area again and get some more on the way back i'm using the motor to get up here uh, where i'm going because it's kind of a long run where I'm fishing that day and then once I get up here I'm going to take the motor out and put the Hobie Mirage drive pedals in that way I can better maneuver around the place I want to be fishing all right y'all I've got up here where I'm going to be fishing today I'm on Fort Loudon Reservoir and the area I'm going to be fishing is a uh, basically just a river bend here that's the river makes two sharp bends it's almost like a Z shape and the water's really deep here out in the deepest area it's 60 plus feet deep but I'm going to be fishing this kind of bluff wall down through here like I said, it's very deep. Just kind of drops straight down. And you can see I'm a few, I don't know, 20 feet, 30 feet off the bank. And I'm already in 26 feet of water here just where I'm sitting. So it just drops straight down at a very steep angle. And I'm going to take my uh, jigs here. This is a 132nd ounce jig head with a 3 inch Berkeley Gulp minnow on there. And I'm going to just cast it directly to the bank and just work it down that ledge there right off them rocks. And hopefully find some smallmouth bass today that's what i really want to catch now i ain't going to discriminate if i get some big bluegill or crappie or largemouth bass i certainly ain't gonna i ain't gonna be upset with that but uh, the goal for today is hopefully find some smallmouth now the rod i'm gonna be using is a saint croix panfish series six foot ultralight i've got a 1000 series abu garcia reel on there and i've got that spooled with four pound test trout magnet sos line i got that four pound on there because i was still I've got that spooled up from when I was in the tournament this past weekend. 
I'll uh, change my line out again. I'll drop back down to the two pound test just to get more bites. The lighter the line you use, the smaller the jig head you use, the more bites you're going to get. The jig heads I've got today have the number two hooks. I'm not going to get a lot of small bluegill. They're just not going to be able to get the bait in their mouth. There's a fish. Finally hooked up here, y'all. Been out here 15 minutes probably casting. Finally got this one right here, a little bluegill. Well, y'all, that's a decent sized bluegill right there. Unfortunately, I hooked him kind of deep and got him in the gills. I'm gonna go ahead and put him in the cooler, use him for bait tomorrow since he's probably not gonna make it anyway. catch up with him he's coming right at me there he is oh look at that <laughs> that bluegill just had a bad day he got it right in the side of the face didn't he right in the eyeball he didn't even get it in the mouth i guess he swapped at it and didn't get hit or didn't get it <laughs> we got him anyway Take them however I can get them. Fish. Let's go. I don't know what that is. He's splashing around though, ain't he? I can get my hands out of the way so you can actually see it. Still ain't got a good look at him. It's a bass for sure. I don't know if it's smallmouth or largemouth. Oh yeah, smallmouth. That's a good one, buddy. That's a good one. That's why I was hoping to find right there. Let's get him. Oh, goodness. <laughs> he missed the whole net and jumped in the kayak. We landed that in the easy way, didn't we? <laughs> goodness. Come here now. You quit that. Look at that, y'all. That's a good smallmouth. I was reaching down to get him at the net, and he missed the net and jumped over it, come right in the kayak on me. I can get that hook out of him. There we go. Look at that. Man, that's a good fish. I'll tell you what, let's measure I brought the measuring board with me here. That fish right there is over 16 inches, about 16 and a quarter. He's ready to go, buddy. He's ready to get out of here. All right. See you, Mr. Smallmouth. You were fun. He gone. Let's try to do that again, why don't we? Now this right here is what them little bluegill do. They get down there and they nip the tails off these gulp minnows. They just like rapid fire machine gun as that jig's falling down through there. You just feel them tap, 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 tap. But they can't get hooked up because the hook size is too big. I'm gonna have to replace that there. All right, y'all, I'm gonna make a little run here this bluff wall hasn't been very productive for me. If I was fishing the one inch gulp minnow that you see in a lot of my ultralight videos, I'd be wearing a bluegill out. I mean, it's just been constant, just peck, 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 peck on my three inch gulp minnow, but I'm using that number two hook and they just can't get hooked up. But it's October 2nd when I'm filming this video. It's supposed to be 90 something today. It's 8.30 a.m. right now and that sun is just beating down here. It's a steam bath out here already. So I'm gonna make a run downstream here. This section of the river, it, makes a zigzag you've got a sharp bend here which i was fishing this bluff wall and on downstream here the river cuts back this way to the to the left and there's another basically just another bluff wall that looks exactly like this but it's going to be in the shade down here at least i hope it is with the way the sun is positioned so i'm going to run down here where i can fish a little bit more comfortably and hopefully we'll get on uh some more fish here i'm like i said i really want to hopefully find some smallmouth out here today got that one back here which is pretty nice over 16 inches but uh you know hoping to get more than one today so we'll run down here see what we can find there's fish guys what the hell i thought 
I had hit bottom. I went to pick up on that thing and then thought I was hung a second. I got a fish on there. I don't know what it is yet. It don't feel like a bass. I'm wondering if it ain't a little catfish of some kind. Y'all know I can't stay away from the catfish ever. No matter what kind of fishing I'm doing. It is. It's another one of the old channel cats. I'll tell you what, if I never caught another one of them again, it'd be too soon. Let's get him up here. Up, up, up. Get in that net, boy. Well, there he is, y'all. Got us a little, little channel there. Cannot stay away from these things. I catch them every time I go ultralight fishing without fail. They just love these little gulp minnows. All right, y'all. One last look there. Get out of here, old channel cat. I'll use you for bait if I have to. Thumped it right there. Let's see if he'll take it. Oh, he missed it. Let me let it fall back down because he's deep. I'm sitting at 24 feet right now. There he is. I got him. That's another one. I don't think it's a bass. I think it might be, it is, another one of them, no, no, that's a drum right there. Oh, he spit it, doggone. Oh, that's frustrating. So I love using drum for bait. Dang, man. I thought it was a channel cat when I first saw him come up. I knew it wasn't a bass, the way he was acting. I would have loved to have had that drum to use for bait tomorrow. Dang. I threw in there and got another one on. I got another one on right there. Oh, did he come off? No, oh, he's on there. Let's see what it is. Yeah, it's a little smallmouth. Must have had me wrapped up in something because he definitely ain't big enough to put the bend in the rod that he did initially. We got him though. Either that or possibly I was hung and when I popped it free, he hit it. There's another one. There's two casts in a row. Hook that drum and that little smallmouth. So, come on, throw right back in there again. All right, y'all. I don't know if you can see on the graph. Look at all that. See all them squiggles right there. It's 17 feet. That's all fish. I'm just gonna drop this. I'm gonna drop this jig straight down under me. We're just gonna work this thing up and down vertically under the kayak. takes a little while. Like I said, you got to fish slow when you're doing this because it takes a while for a 132nd ounce jig to fall down all the way to the bottom. But I would encourage you, even when you're fishing deep like I am today, to stick with the light jig head because a lot of time, most of the time, actually the fish you're going to catch are going to come on the fall. And having that slow fall rate that a light jig head allows you to have, that's gonna that's gonna get you a lot more fish. So I definitely encourage you to to go as light as you possibly can. Plus two, the you know the gulp minnow bait I'm using that three inch. It's you know fairly heavy itself, uh, just for a you know a three inch bait. I mean it's got some weight to it, which adds to the the lead on your jig head. Look out there, I got him. I got him, buddy. It's one of them fish that we've marked there on the screen. I hope it's one of them drum. That's what I really want today, right now, is the drum. I'm hoping to get smallmouth coming out here, but now that I hooked into that drum and lost him earlier, and, and in fact, I'm needing some catfish bait for tomorrow, I'd love to have me some drum. Oh, daggummit, that's one of them old channels. 
I hope that ain't what I'm seeing down there under me. Actually, no, no, I take that back. That's a little blue cat right there, y'all. That is a little blue. Well, I'm more tolerative of blues. I love blue cats, they get big. But this one's a long ways from being the size I normally like to catch. I bet that's probably a school of these little small blues that we've seen there on the graph. I'm gonna drop down there again. If I get another one though, we're gonna move on. This ain't what I wanna catch on the ultralight. All right, little baby blue cat. There's a fish right there, if I can catch up with him, y'all. There he is, man, he was coming right at me. Barely felt him hit, look at that. Well, that is a pretty, pretty fish right there. Oh, oh. He's about gone too, ain't he? <laughs> trying to hold him over here in the sun maybe so you can see all the colors on him. Look at that. Man, they're gorgeous fish. I'll get a quick length on him here. I'd say he's probably in the... Well, maybe I am. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, he's just under 8 inches. He might reach the 8 inch mark. Nice, beautiful thing. See you, buddy. There's another one right there, y'all. There's another one. I don't know what this is. We'll see here in a minute. Oh my goodness, it's another dang channel. I can't get away from these things. Good golly, Miss Molly. Oh, there he went, good. At least I didn't have to fool with him. He popped it right there at the side of the kayak. He got my line all slimed up. Get that old nasty stuff off there. No things. I know a lot of you like fishing for channel cats, especially those of you that live up north and stuff, but down here, I just don't, I just don't enjoy them. They don't get as big as our blue cats or flatheads. And they interfere with my ultralight fishing here, get me all excited for nothing. Get your line all twisted up when you ultralight fishing. Steal my bait when I'm catfishing. So I just don't, they just ain't my cup of tea. All right, y'all, like I said earlier, I'm pulling double duty out here today. I'm trying to get some catfish bait for tomorrow in addition to doing the ultralight fishing that I wanted to do out here this morning. So it's about 10.30 right now. I've been ultralight fishing the last three hours. So I'm gonna have to put that up and get to catching some bait. Otherwise, this sun's gonna get so high in the sky that it's gonna drive the bait down uh, deep in the water. So I'm gonna start doing some, I'm gonna switch out my Mirage drive with the electric motor again and we'll troll in and out of these two creeks down through here with some spoons and some jigs and see if we can't get some white bass maybe even some skipjack y'all unfortunately it looks like i have missed my window i trolled in and out of those two creeks didn't get anything i came back out to the main channel worked this flat over here that i'd caught those other two white bass on the way up to my first ultralight fishing spot this morning uh, just nothing and I think I just missed my time out here this morning the sun's got high up in the sky which has probably pushed the bait down deeper in the water column and I just don't have any crankbaits with me to be able to go after them at the deeper depth so in hindsight I probably should have got bait first and then went and had the fun ultralight fishing instead of doing it bass backwards like I did but uh, you know it is what it is I'll get out this afternoon maybe get some bait and if I can't go this afternoon I've got some frozen skipjack in the freezer I can use uh, for tomorrow's catfishing trip but I had a good time out here ultralight fishing this morning I didn't get a lot of fish but I got several different species got the bluegill smallmouth bass channel cat blue cat and i hooked into that drum which i really wish i had now since i wasn't able to get anything else uh, for bait today but i had a good time man ultralight fishing it's a lot of fun you never get skunked even a day like today where the action wasn't great i didn't get good numbers today still got some fish still had a good time so 
Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.